In ancient Greece, Aristotle remarked on the importance of semen. For Aristotle, semen is the residue derived from nourishment, that is of blood, that has been highly concocted to the optimum temperature and substance. This can only be emitted by the male as only the male, by nature of his very being, has the requisite heat to concoct blood into semen. According to Aristotle, there is a direct connection between food and semen. Sperms are the excretion of our food, or to put it more clearly, as the most perfect component of our food. The connection between food and physical growth on the one hand, and semen, on the other, allows Aristotle to warn against engaging in sexual activity at too early an age, since this will affect the growth of their bodies. Nourishment that would otherwise make the body grow is diverted to the production of semen. Aristotle is saying that at this stage the body is still growing. It is best for sexual activity to begin when its growth is no longer abundant, for when the body is more or less at full height, the transformation of nourishment into semen does not drain the body of needed material. Additionally, Aristotle tells us that the region round the eyes was the region of the head most fruitful of seed, pointing to generally recognized effects upon the eyes of sexual indulgence and to practices which imply that seed comes from liquid in the region of the eyes. This may be explained by the belief of the Pythagoreans that semen is a drop of the brain, Greek Stoic philosophy conceived of the Logos Spermatikos, seminal word, as the principle of active reason, that fecundated passive matter. The Jewish philosopher Philo similarly spoke in sexual terms of the Logos as the masculine principle of reason that sowed seeds of virtue in the feminine soul. The Christian Platonist Clement of Alexandria linked the Logos to physical blood as the substance of the soul and noted that some held that the animal semen is substantially foam of its blood. Clement reflected an early Christian view that the seed ought not be wasted nor scattered thoughtlessly nor sown in a way it cannot grow. Women were believed to have their own version, which was stored in the womb and released during climax. Retention was believed to cause female hysteria. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it is helping you on your journey. Please like, subscribe and comment down below if you like the video. Good luck with your journey.